Good afternoon viewers, it's Double Wide 6 here and today I have another kind of repair do-it-yourself video. We're going to be laying out some roof rafters. Before we get into that, I'd like to thank my viewers for responding to my last video and I'd like to welcome any new viewers that aren't familiar with my channel. I do a lot of do-it-yourself and repair videos and if you're interested in that type of stuff, maybe you want to mark me in on your favorites. Currently, my latest project is building a shed. It's going to be a 12 by 16 stick frame shed. And today we're going to work on laying out the roof rafters. Alright guys, so as you can see I have my saw horses set up and I have a 2 by 6 rafter here. And what we're going to be doing is using a framing square to lay out our ridge beams. Okay. So you can see I have my framing square set up and so for the purpose of this video I'll be setting up my rafters with an 812 pitch. My building as I said before is 16 feet long by 12 feet wide. So basically we need to figure out how long our span is. So our span is 12 foot. We're going to divide that in half and you will get six foot. So we're going to step off six times using the framing square. So the first thing you have to do is take a look at your framing square. And there's two sides to a framing square. The short side is called the tongue, which you're looking at here, and the longer side of the framing square is called the blade. And you'll be hearing those terms throughout this demonstration. Alright folks, what we're going to do is we're going to take the framing square and we're going to step from right to left off each of our six steps. Keep in mind we're working with an 8-12 pitch. Starting on the upper right hand side of your ridge board, right up here in this corner, you're going to line up your tongue. If we look really closely, you can see the numbers. I want to get 8 inches lined up exactly with the edge, the bottom edge of my board. I also want to take a look at the blade and I want to find 12 inches. 12 inches should be lined up with the other bottom edge. So hopefully you can see how I have this laid out. The tongue is set at 8 inches and the blade is set at 12 inches right on the bottom edge of my board. Now that I have that laid out at 8 and 12, I'm going to hold the square tightly and I'll put a nice mark right there. That cut is going to butt up with the shed's ridge board which is the top board on the peak of the roof. The next thing that I need to do is put a dot right here where 12 inches is so I know. At that dot, that's where I'm going to set my tongue for my next measurement. We're now going to do what they call stepping off the square. We're going to take our square, we're going to move it down. I'm going to line up 8 inches on the tongue, 12 inches on the blade, and I'm going to make another nice clear line. And we're going to compete, repeat this process all the way down the board. So I'm going to mark 12 here, and I'm going to step down the square one more time. I'm going to line up 8 and 12 and continue marking. So this is my third step. I have 8. I'm going to put a dot right where 12 is. And we're going to step it down one more time. Line up 8. Line up your 12 right on the bottom edge. I'm going to mark that one. I'm going to put a dot at 12. Step it down again. We're going to line up 8. Line up 12. Get a nice straight line. Mark 12. Okay. We're just moving along down. We're going to line up 8. We're going to line up 12 with the edges one more time. I'm going to put a nice clear mark there. I'm going to put a dot on this side right at 12. Okay, 
what you'll notice is as I get down towards the end of the board and I try and line up my 8 and my 12, I don't have enough board length to line that up. So an easy way to solve this problem is to measure the distance between these two parallel lines or any two parallel lines. If you lay it out right, it should be pretty close to 14 and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from this line here up top on the top edge of the board over 14 and a half, put a mark and I'm going to connect my lines from 12 up to 14 and a half. And All right, so I'm just measuring from the top of the last line to 14 and a half putting my mark on the board and then all I have to do is take my square and basically connect the dots and that'll give me the exact angle of the last mark on our board that's it alright so we're gonna do a little recap here um, we stepped off six times okay the shed the width of it's 12 feet so that means our run is 12 feet well one half of our run is going to be six feet we said we were doing an 812 pitch so we set it to 812 and since our run is six feet we stepped off six times one two three four five six okay this excess would be an overhang okay or you can get rid of it if you don't want an overhang the next thing that we're gonna do is mark the birds mouth that's how this rafter is gonna connect to the walls I've set the rafter on an angle so you can kinda of get an idea of what it would look like I know it's sorta of hard to see on camera but I have the right side of the board kinda of going up and coming back on an angle is the left side of the board so what we got to do is right at this point here on our last line this is going to be the end of the wall right here so we're going to cut out a notch where our 2x4 wall and plate can fit right in there so to lay out the bird's mouth basically what you want to do is measure up one third of the thickness of your rafter so a two by six is five and a half inches and one third of that is an inch and seven eighths so I'm gonna come right up on an angle following this line and I'm gonna put a mark right at one and seven eighths okay the next thing I want to do is line up my square again on the exact same angle eight and twelve and we're gonna connect it with that line so we have 8 down here and 12 over here. Make sure 12's on the edge of the board and 8's on the edge of the board. And we're going to put a line there that connects nicely with the line that I already marked. Like this. Okay. And if we move that away, that cut there is going to be our bird's mouth. And basically what's going to happen is the top of our wall is going to fit right in there the 2x4 plate just like that so we're going to actually cut away this area in here okay so that'll be your bird's mouth so the last thing that we need to do if you look at the peak and you can see how we stepped it off when you get all the way down to the end you'll see the bird's mouth and then the end of the rafter needs to be cut on the exact same angle as the rest of your cuts okay so we're gonna mark that basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from this edge here over to the very end of the board because I want to keep my overhang as long as I can so if that's six inches I'm gonna measure off the top of the line six inches and then I'm just gonna connect the dots and that should give me an even and equal rafter tail so if we measure here, right to the end of the board is five and a half inches. So on the top edge of the board, we'll line that up with the line. I'm going to put a mark right at five and a half. And then we'll take our framing square one more time and we'll just connect those dots. So this rafter I'll use as a template 
This will get cut. That's going to be scrap. This is my bird's mouth where it's going to rest on the wall. That'll get cut where those X's are. And you're going to have one more cut up top right where your ridge board meets. All the way up here. That knot is going to get cut off here. So those are your three cuts. And then you will keep this board and use it as a template to lay out all the other rafters on your roof. So hopefully this video has helped you out. And as I said, I'm going to have other videos coming up on the construction of this shed. Everything from vinyl siding to raising the walls to putting a roof on. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.